program has 10 components, 10 modules, and today we're doing chest tube insertion and um, thoracic thesis. This is one of the most useful um, sessions and most interactive as well. Um, we made the models here at the University of Calgary. Uh, everything was uh, more or less made and designed by people that work here. And uh, of course, uh, the morning was quite intense because we had to put all the models together. And uh, by 12.30, all the residents arrived. We have uh, their uh, talks, presentations usually. The two teams that um, we get to be preceptors are from thoracic surgery and from cardiac surgery. So they're appointed surgeons and uh, fellows. All the residents get a chance to do both procedures in the models with direct feedback from the preceptors, which are really the experts in this area. It's hands-on and it's quite visual and usually um, people in the in surgery are extremely visual learners. So we take advantage of that. We're trying to incorporate the cabinet roles in every session. Therefore, after each talk, we do not only talk about the technical skills, we talk about the importance of the outcome for the patient. So we tell the residents, okay, you're in R1, you're in training. Um, don't feel embarrassed or ashamed to say I need help or assistance in this procedure. Everybody's here, so call your senior resident, call your nurses. Um, we're trying to promote the collaboration, which is another of the cabinet roles. Those uh, things that will make um, definitely their life easier, and it's better if they learn it in their first year of uh, residency, then eventually they will learn it, but in a hard way we want to make uh, the transitions smooth for them.